Hey Blockheads, this is DJ AK from NK Airplay Radio. And if you love what the My So Cold Whatever podcast crew is doing, check us out too. NK Airplay is an online radio station playing all your favorite hits from the 80s and 90s, especially the ones from those boys in the band, New Kids on the Block. Listen to artists like Boys to Men, Debbie Gibson, Tiffany, boy bands, girl bands, and many more. We play artists that are associated with or who inspired the New Kids on the Block, plus some of the artists that inspired us while we were growing up. Check us out on social media at NK Airplay Radio. And download the Live 365 app for your iPhone or Android phone and listen today. Friends forever, that's what we are. Through the thick and the thin, we're friendship stars. We're banger main buddies from the days of old. We laugh, cry, and hug, friendship solid as gold. My so cold whatever started a year ago. We share our stories and your stories were told. 80s, 90s memories that give us glee. And on the block party shows, NKOTB. Now our friendship circle has grown by far. Hashtag friends forever, that's what we all are. Boom. And if you don't know, now you know. My so cold whatever for life. Hashtag MSCW Hashtag Friends Forever Yeah Uh, 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 uh Yeah Um Well, hello then Hello Hi Hi We're back We took a week off And it was nice I'm I'm not gonna lie It was kinda nice I mean, I love the podcast, but it's kind of nice to take a break every once in a while. Oh, absolutely. You know what I just realized? What's that? I haven't opened up Squarespace and I don't have the, I'm not logged into it. So, cause I got oh, a new phone. So I'm right. going to get, I'm going to get the um, password right here. Okay. And I'll log in. Okay. Right here. Whoa. <laughs> While you're doing that. I can talk about the new Joey McIntyre single. Yes. Oh, M G. Seriously. Own this town. And beautiful. It's beautiful. so good. Beautiful. I will say though, like again, just like I don't don't come at don't come for me. Seriously, don't. Don't at me. Don't at me. But just like the new kids on the block when they first came and they had their female dancers. And I was like, you guys don't need that. Yeah. The the girl in the video was just like, nah, nah, Joey, you can just do it on your own. You, you Right. You don't need that. I don't have any hate for the girl in the video. None. No, absolutely. Of course not. But I, but I was like, nah, nah, you didn't really need that. I would have liked to see more Joey. I agree. Wholeheartedly. Yeah, I'm. I am there with you, and like you said, no hate for the girl. Right. I mean, no, it that's up. actually None. what a she did a good what job. A cool gig. Yeah, I would have loved that gig. Hello. Hi. Joey, you want to like look at me while I'm looking at myself in the mirror? <laughs> um. Also, it's a ballad, which you know I love ballads. I know you're not one for the ballads, but I am. I am not. for sure. And it it just hit me. It was just. I loved it was. It. It's a great song. It is. I really, really enjoyed it. I'm not a ballad girl. Yeah. Um, but I still really enjoyed it. It was a. It was a good one. Yeah, I got the merch. Because <laughs> oh, you know, course. I'm all about that merch. Um, I saw it and immediately I'm like, um, sign me up. I want it. You're like, um, that's mine. Yep. I saw it. What is it? I liked it. I saw it. I bought it. What's that song? I don't know. You know the Ariana Gra- uh, Grande song? I don't know, but speaking of Ariana Grande. Did I say Ariana? Ariana. Yes. Her new album. I'm just this is I'm, this is so off topic and not anything to do with what we were talking about. It's okay. Her it's new fine. album. It's dirty. Is it really? Yes. Oh. I've been listening to it for the last few days. Like WAP dirty? Uh well, I mean uh there are parts oh okay 
I mean, I don't think she says the P word. <laughs> no, she does. No, she does. And it's, she does. Wow. There's a song she does. Wow. Yes. Like this P design for you. Um, I'm not going to lie. I, I like WAP. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I mean, it's kind of a banger. From the bottom to the top. That's so. <laughs> um so yeah so she grown yeah i guess so there is one so. song i do really like it's the What's second that? song on the album okay i just really like the like, like the, the flow the rhythm like yes the flow yeah but it is it is dirty oh dirty uh, <laughs> That oh my god i died come through, come through. <laughs> okay we have come to share through. that pay we my have... dues in, in the moon. moon me and my girls on sugar dj, DJ spinning, spinning. Oh, damn. let's get <laughs> there i need, I need that. that to turn me on something till my clothes come off <laughs> <laughs> I loved that song. Back I in the day. loved that song. It was a really so good song at Barnaby. Much. It was fantastic. It was a great. I'm getting goosebumps. Like, freaking love that song. Freaking love Christina Aguilera. Such a good song. Yes. So, speaking of really good songs. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, no! Yeah. Speaking of Christina Aguilera, yeah, we got to share that TikTok. Yes. Oh my gosh, you guys, this TikTok. <laughs> it's this girl and like she's i can't i'm not even gonna say it. you just have to go to our website and you have yeah, we'll to post see it. it you have we'll to see it, it because it will make you cry perfect i'm gonna i'm gonna share both of them because there's two of them because i sent you two i sent you the first one and then i sent you the christina aguilera one yeah i was like oh my god this girl is my spirit animal <laughs> 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 yeah that's perfect so, so go on the website take a look yeah Hey, can I say something real quick? Yeah. Guys. No, you can't. No. No, listen. Yeah. Listen up, yo. Yeah. We need your stories. Oh, my gosh. Guys. You guys. You guys, like, this seriously. This is what we do, and we are running low. I, I Like, I'm We're, not even going to pretend. Let's just be honest. We only have a few more. And then right. we're not really sure what we're going to do. <laughs> so, right. so we need we need some block party stories. We right. need some new kids stories. Right. If we you want guys all know, them, but... know somebody like that has a good story, like send them to us. Like you don't, don't even have had to have met them to right. send us a story. Right. Like right. tell us about your bedroom, like and how many posters you had, or right. tell us about the. F- you and your best friend listening to them in your bedroom on your canopy right, bed right. pretending that the posts were microphones i used right. to do that yeah 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 i mean tell us about the boys that made fun of you in fifth grade yeah and like where are they now and where are the new kids now yeah that's what i thought yeah you've got mail <laughs> <laughs> i'm gonna bleep that I'm out a hernia man yeah, i'm <laughs> I'm gonna bleep that bleep that name out. I'm gonna go, you got mail. <laughs> no, but seriously, just we we need the stories. Yes. We know that they're out there. We know that you guys have them. And like there's some of you guys that have like given us a lot of stories. If you have more, send them to us. Right. We love like, that. And we don't want to seem you. like desperate, but Desperate times we need call, them. Come for, call for desperate measures. So, Guys, we have almost had 200 episodes. Yes. And many of these episodes have been loaded with your stories. Right. And they are literally the, like, the heartbeat They're the core. of what we do. Right. They are. Right. And if we don't have them, then you're just right. listening to us talk about whatever. Who knows, Who knows what we're going to talk about? I don't even know. I mean, we're we'll going to one of those I episodes. Mean, we'll figure something out. Oh, you we're, know. we're resourceful. Right. But what are those episodes that we, what, what are we going to call them? The whatever episodes? Whatever? My so-called whatever, whatever. Okay. We're going to have one of those coming up for you guys, by the way. Next week. As long as everything goes okay, because we've tried to have this episode like three times. Right. Exactly. So as far as we know, next week, we are going to have for you 
on my so-called whatever, whatever episode. Our first and, one. Yes. And I'm excited for I it. I am too. I can't wait. I can't wait. And maybe wait. we'll do more of these my I, so-called I whatever, so. whatever episodes. I think, I think, I think we, we should. Will. And the thing is, it still ties in 80s, 90s. Like it still does. Because he's like an 80s, he's an 80s fan. He but loves also, the 80s. But, but also. If, but if he didn't, it would be fine. Exactly. That's why it's my so-called whatever, whatever. Right. Right. We will talk about whatever. Right. So if you and... ha- guys have like things you want us to talk about, <gasps> yes. email us. Like topics you want us to cover. New Kids on the Block topics you want us to cover. You want us to talk about. You'd like to hear our opinions. You'd like us to bring on special guests like Maria or whoever. Or Jackie. David Faustino. David Faustino. Yes. So let us know. Email us at my so-called whatever at gmail.com. Right. And seriously, I want to see tons of emails come in. You guys are listening. Stop what you're doing. Well, if you're driving, don't stop what you're doing. But no, keep, keep driving. When you get to work or wherever you get to your destination, email us and just whatever's on your mind, email it to us. Right. So, yeah, that's that. That is that housekeeping. We've said our piece. We have. We have. And there it is. There she be. So <laughs> with that, should we get into it? I think we should. All right. Okay. This is Brooke. Uh, oh, whoops. Oh, we're on an intro. Whoopsies. Okay, go ahead. I don't know what I <laughs> thought we were going to do. I was going to read a story. <laughs> oh, well, I'm going to intro. <laughs> okay. All right. And you can join me if you'd like. Okay. Sounds good. This is Brooke. This is Nikki. And this is my so-called whatever. Hey. Welcome to the block party. And we ain't leaving out nobody. Not you. Nope. Not me. Nope. Not Stephanie. Or nope. Christina. Absolutely not. No. Nope. Or Christina Aguilera. No. Even though she's dirty. Dirty. <laughs> I get, I'm going to listen to that after we're done. I freaking love that song. I do too. I Should we take dance. a dance break? Yeah. <laughs> so All who's right. gonna read first? I will because it's a Joe Max story. So I, I got oh, to then that's this. then that's perfect. Then then you need to. So this is a, another awesome story. And Stephanie, I know you have more, and we want to hear them. So please send them because we love your stories. We love all of you guys' stories, but Stephanie. If you're listening, we would love to hear more stories from you. I know. It's like we're there with you. I know Christina has some more, too. So Christina has stories for days. Yeah, she does. She's awesome. Months. Yeah. So this is Stephanie's NKOTB Cruise 2010 Joe Max story. I have a feeling I'm going to be very jealous. <laughs> I have the, the, the feeling. We were sitting at the atrium bar on the last night of the 2010 cruise, white night, and all of a sudden... A glorious flash of all white, surrounded by a posse of people, went gliding across the elevator hallway. We knew it was a new kid, but we just didn't know who. We immediately jumped out of the bar and ran over to the area where the flash was spotted. We lost him, but lucky for us, enough people saw exactly who it was and knew exactly where he went. It was none other than Joey McIntyre, and he was heading to the piano bar for an intimate show of pop standards. What? Within minutes, we were at the entrance of the piano bar, and Joe was there in all his glory, looking fine and taking pics. I finally made it up to him, and at the same time, another fan reached his other side. Now, before I proceed, what would you say is a girl's worst prom nightmare? Any guesses? Um, what would you think? Like, I, I mean, I didn't care about you, like, because we wore the same dress. So I didn't really care I, about that. No, I didn't care about but that I think either. other, other girls would care. True. Uh, look at sweaty, sweaty feet in your clear shoes. Did you, yeah, sweaty. Did you read the, I didn't read the next line. The next line says, well, as it turned out, we were wearing the same dress. Huh. <laughs> One of us on each side of Joe frickin' McIntyre. I believe she was the first to say nice dress as we tried to downplay our pure mortification. Not ideal when meeting a new kid, unless, of course, it was planned and coordinated. Aside from that embarrassing moment, I took a picture with him. He was lovely. 
Then I completely botched my friend's picture with him, as she so lovingly reminded me today. Aw. Aw. Hey, words of the wise, never trust me to hold a camera steady or focused while I'm in the presence of my first love. It's a disaster waiting to happen. Anyways, after the photos were taken, the whole crowd of people ha- that had gathered to the side entered the piano bar. We got an amazing hour of Joe Max sitting on top of a piano in a tiny cruise ship lounge singing his bread and butter crooner classics. I don't think I knew what was happening that evening, and it could have been spur of the moment on his part too, but we just got extremely lucky, extremely lucky and we were in the right place at the right time. Speaking of right place, right time, less than 24 hours after that, we were back on dry land on the sidewalks of South Beach. We had gone to this Cuban restaurant near our hotel the night before the cruise and decided to head back the day after the cruise. Boy, oh boy, was that the right decision. We were literally reaching for the door handle to go in when it was pushed open by the exiting party, who was none other than John and Jordan Knight. We were shocked looking rough hey i i know how that feels <laughs> i remember Been looking there. rough and absolutely exhausted as were they aside from the looking rough part as they could never they immediately identified us as blockheads must have been the dead behind the eyes haven't slept in three days still possibly drunk vibes we were giving off they said hello and gave us hugs and that was it we didn't even bother asking for pictures because we truly appreciated all that they had given us in the past three days, but it was awesome to get to say goodbye one more time. It was the best first cruise a girl could ask for, so much so that I made sure I was on the next one, which made for go- more good stories. Mostly drunken, not necessarily new kids. <laughs> Damn, sorry that was supposed to be a quick one, but as you can probably see, I tend to go a little overboard. Here are some pics from that night. I go Seriously, you're not going overboard. You're perfect. Look at absolutely perfect look at the look him in the white i love shirt. them so much him in the white shirt and the sunglasses the buttons <sighs> the buttons just unbuttoned a little bit oh man oh man <sighs> that's that's really funny that you guys were wearing the same dress because it's like looks very unique it does look very unique yeah yeah he looks very unique and oh handsome. my god he really does. Oh my gosh. Joy McIntyre. Uh, remember when we you had him on the podcast? Do. <laughs> I do remember. Oh. Uh, that was the best. It was so I still I still like like I'm like, did that really happen? Did that really happen? Jordan on. Yeah. Yeah. Jordan Knight, please. Yeah. Are you listening to this, please? <laughs> I'll sing, baby, no, I can give it to you. I promise I won't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Stephanie, Stephanie. Stephanie, thank you so much. That was an awesome story. Yes, thank you. Thank you. We love you. We love you, and I love your stories. And I know you have some InSync ones and possibly some Backstreet Boys ones. So send I really them. want those. Yes. I love InSync. Me too. I have to go. Oh, me too. <sighs> it's like nine o'clock, but it feels like midnight. Kind of, it does. You're right. All right, I'm gonna take a drink of water. Okay. Out of my Love Island water bottle. I'm drinking um, peach flavored Ew. sparkling water, and it smells like cat pee. Of course it is, because it's peach. Yeah, but right. it tastes good. Really? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to read Christina's NQOTB Mall of America story. I'm here for it. Me too. I'm excited. Hi, Brooke and Nikki. I found a link to some of my old blog posts from the first couple years after NQOTB reunited. How cool is that? I love it. Here's a story about the first time I met all five new kids at the Mall of America in Minnesota on August 8th, 2008. I've also included some photos and links P.S. That was J.C.'s birthday. What? August 8th, 2008? Well, yes, August and 8th. I believe that he was turning 32. <laughs> wow. So, yeah. I've remember, also when he ch- when, remember when he turned, was it 23 or 24? 24. 
And we made a cake. We made a cake, a chocolate one. And decorated it. Yeah, it was nice. And I'm sure it was delicious. <laughs> I'm sure it was. Not as delicious as him. Mm-hmm. When he does that that little like thing on the glass. On the floor. Yeah. Oh man. Oh enjoy. man. Do you see that yeah. cell phone case? No. What? There's a, there's a cell phone case. There's a girl on Etsy. Yeah. So Charlene, I love you so much. She got me a pin. I saw that. Do they have like a Lance one? Well, they she has a Justin. I think it's a Justin one that she's that she's coming out with. I'm sure okay. that Lance is gonna be I on need the way. that. My birthday's coming up. Maybe so, Kevin will buy it for me. She has a cell phone case that has like the JC like on the floor. Stop it. I know I want it so bad. I don't know if it fits my phone. I gotta find out. Oh my god, I have to go look at it right this second. <laughs> <laughs> okay i'm i'm bringing up etsy right now what is it what do i look for so sh- okay well hold on let me I'll find her on JC instagram pin oh well then there you go um okay there it is found it road it's rhoda's room yes yes okay so rhoda's room o m g oh my gosh yeah oh my gosh oh my gosh Oh my gosh. Do they have it uh, on do they have it in um for my phone? No, it doesn't look like it. I mean it says the they digital may get down eventually. comes full circle as JC's infamous stage lick is immortalized on his provocative phone case. How could he predict the future back then? This piece is artfully drawn so you can remember the times when JC taught you how to get freaky deaky on the digital screen. Comes in most iPhone cases. Message me to confirm. I mean, okay. I love it. I love it. I'm, okay. I'm adding this so you guys can see it. Um, I'm going to add it after Christina's story. Or actually, I'll add it at the very beginning. Oh, yeah. Perfect. I'll put JC. Oh, no. JC phone case link. Look at that. Adding it right there. So there it is. Um, so yeah, she's got a pin, a JC pin that it is so amazingly done. Like I think it I'm gonna really buy is. it because I want I want them all. You want all of them, yeah. yeah. And Justin's on there. Yeah. Um but like oh my god. Oh I my gosh, she has so Justin. Much. Yeah, she has Justin too. Baby, and she baby, has nail you all that you want. We get nasty, nasty. We get freaky, freaky, freaky. <laughs> did you go, did you go get down? Wow. I mean, this is so well done. This is so well done, Rhoda. Or Rodra. Or Rodra. Rod, Rodra. Rod, Rodra's Rodra. 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 I mean, they're so well done. She also has tearing up my heart mm-hmm. na- nail decals. What? I know. I saw those, and I've I'm I am about those. Oh my gosh! I think I want them. Oh my gosh! And in sync gift wrap. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! I know it's amazing. So anyway, yes, yeah. Sorry for hijacking the story, Christina. We yeah, sorry had, about that. Sorry about we that. Had to discuss. And we just did full circle. It had nothing, absolutely nothing, to do with in sync, and yeah, we did. Correct. We did that. Okay. All right. So. To continue with her story. She said, I've also um, included some photos. I've also included some photos and links to a couple of the videos I took of them performing. Hope you enjoy the story. Bye. Christina. Yeah. So here she is. Uh, okay. So here's the story. My friend Melissa and I decided to go to the NKOTP performance and autograph signing at the grand opening of the Best Buy store in the Mall of America. I picked up Melissa on Thursday night around 6.30 p.m. and we headed off to the Mall of America. It was a five and a half hour drive, and we oh. listened to all of the new kid CDs on the way there, except for the Christmas CD. Oh, okay. We arrived at the hotel at 12.15 a.m. We got about an hour of sleep, and then it was time to get ready to go. To oh, the- my word. That's crazy. We left at 3.30 a.m. and arrived at the mall around 3.45. First, I was nervous to go up the parking ramp because the rules had said they would have security remove you if you got there before 4 a.m. Uh-oh. But to our surprise, there were already about 40 to 50 people in line. 
They arrived at 3 a.m. and we were allowed to stand in line. At 5 a.m., we were led into the mall. Then we waited until 10 a.m. to get the wristbands. Oh, my gosh. I know this because I kept looking at my watch. (laughs) At 10.45 a.m., we had our wristband and laminate. At 11, we were let in and secured a fourth row spot in the rotunda. Then we waited. We did a lot of sitting around that day. I was so tired that I didn't know what to do with myself. It was too crowded to lay down flat and rest. It was definitely warm and kind of stuffy, and I was pretty sweaty and grubby by the time the guys hit the stage. Once we were standing in line in front of the stage, uh, Best Buy Mall of America decided to entertain us with video footage of the new kids. Great, right? Well, the footage was of the performance of the medley in Summertime from the Today Show, the Summertime video, the making of the Summertime video, and video of the guys in the studio hanging out, meeting fans, etc., with Summertime playing in the background. At first, it was cool to see all these vids again. but They played it on loop for the entire six and a half hours that we waited. Word. Needless to say that even the most diehard of fans were pretty sick of summertime by the time the guys hit the stage. We all started getting a bit nutty about an hour before the guys hit the stage and started singing summertime in the medley over and over and trying to do the dances. I think that we just had to do something to keep ourselves awake and from losing our minds since we were getting so close to seeing the guys. There was a camera crew there who started videotaping us singing and dancing, which pumped us up a bit more. When we learned that Summertime was the first song that the guys were going to perform, we were all kind of like, not again. But when the guys started singing it, everyone was singing right along with them. They had such energy that you couldn't help even after hearing the song for the 100th time or more in a few hours. The New Kids plane was delayed due to a storm where they were flying out of. So they got there 30 minutes late and then had to do a meet and greet for some contest winners. I wish I was one of those contest winners. I know. Same. They hit the stage at 6.30 p.m. The performance was awesome. Only three songs, Summertime, Tonight, and Single. I wish it could have been longer, but they had all his fans to meet, so had to keep things moving. I wholeheartedly agree that Single was the bomb. I even told Joe during the autograph signing that he sang his ass off, but I'm getting ahead of myself. Joe's part. On to the autograph signing. The guys were sitting in chairs behind a table on the stage. They made us put our cameras away before we got up to the stage. They also had you put your purses and bags in a Best Buy basket that was transferred to the other end of the stage by workers. This was to prevent people from trying to sneak and take pictures. They signed the laminate that we were given. Jordan was on the end of the table that everyone started at. Then Joe, John, Donnie, and Danny. They were trying to rush people through a bit quickly because the guys had a plane to catch. I wonder if they were trying to make it back since Joe's wedding anniversary was the next day. Oh. When I got up to the stage, I handed my lanyard to Jordan, who signed it and proceeded to ask me if I saw him at the Minnesota State Fair last year when he was playing with the goats. Oh, my God. What? Jordan? What? (laughs) That's awesome. That is awesome. I said no, since I'm from Milwaukee. Then there was Joe, who has the most gorgeous blue eyes that I've ever seen. At this time, I had met Joe twice before. Each time, I get a bit better at saying a few more words to him. This time, I told him that he sang his ass off on single. He said... So you like the song? I was like, yes, I love it. And you sing it so well. He shook my hand inside my lanyard. He shook your hand? Oh my gosh. I'm never going to wash this hand again. (laughs) On to John, who was really sweet. He said hi and shook my hand as well. Then on to Donnie. I had made up my mind that I wanted a hug from Donnie since all the stories about Donnie's hugs were making me a little jealous. Now I'm a Joe girl, but I've had some Donnie tendencies in the past and particularly during this reunion. I can relate. Same girl, same. So I got up to Donnie and asked, for the next couple minutes, will you be my boyfriend? Keep in mind that they had been playing the song single over and over in the background during the autograph signing. Donnie was initially shaking my hand, but once I asked him that question, he leaned forward and gave me a hug. I kissed him on the cheek. It was a nice hug, and he did not try to pull away immediately, which was nice. Okay, can we talk about this for a second? Sure. Because I was just thinking about this the other day. Yeah. When I hugged Donnie... I don't know when to like let go because like he doesn't let go. So I get all awkward. Like, should I let go now? Or right. do I just take it in or take it in? I take it all in. Go. I always let go. I always let go because I'm just like, this is a long hug. You got to <laughs> take it all in. Yes. I don't know why. But do you know what I mean? Does he do that to you? I do know what you mean. I don't remember, but I think I just take it all in. Maybe I just maybe I just like tap his back, like pound it out, like, and then then that's time. Or you hug him and you hurt him. That was you. 
No, yes, it was. But I did it. <laughs> he told me to squeeze harder. Right. Yes, he did. <sighs> Johnny, you are a national treasure. You should come back on our podcast too. Oh we my will god! Have you please, please, we love please, you. Please. We love you to pieces. Yes. You know what I would talk to him about? What's that? I would talk to him about like I want to talk to him more about like this, the reunion. Like yeah. that's what days. I want to talk about. Yeah. That would be amazing. I would love yeah. to hear what he has to say. His yeah. stories, Johnny's yeah. stories. I know. He's got I a know. few. I know. After we finished hugging, he told me that I was a smooth one, and I said that I know. <laughs> <laughs> then on to Danny, who was also very sweet and shook my hand inside my lanyard. I was on cloud nine. I still can't believe that it happened. I wish that I could have gotten a picture with the guys, but it was awesome just to finally meet all of them. It was definitely worth the five and a half hour drive and the 16 hour wait in line oh all day. Oh my gosh. The other bonus was that we hung around a bit after getting our autographs just to watch the guys and take more pictures. I just couldn't bring myself to leave knowing that they were still sitting there and I could be in the same room with them. Mm -hmm. So while we were waiting around, they were playing some tracks from the new CD. They played the full version of Click, 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 which was great to finally hear. They also played Full Service, the duet with New Edition. They played one other new song, but I couldn't hear it as well and couldn't figure out the title, but I liked all the songs. I can't wait for the new CD. I hung around. Remember, guys, this is like. This is back in 2008. A long time ago. Yeah. I can't wait for the new CD. I hung around until the guys left. They were whisked away to a special exit. I can't wait to see them again in October. Oh, my and gosh. she has pictures and video on the website, yes, guys. Yes, and it's already there, so you guys can see it. Go check it out. I'm oh, looking at it right now. Oh, my gosh. I love it so much. Oh, my gosh. That, okay, so do you remember, and I think we've talked about this before, but when Donnie took a picture with somebody we both know, Back in 2008, and I was like, what the hell? Yes. <laughs> yes. I was so mad. I, was I so remember mad. that. I, was like, I remember how? thinking, like, what? I go, how in the world? She's not even a fan. I was really mad. How in the how in the F does that happen? Oh, my God. I can remember. I got, like, enraged. But look at us now. I know. Like, she didn't like go we're on lucky. The cruise. We're lucky. Yes. She didn't go on the cruise. We went on the no. cruise. No. We had a freaking go, hell of a time. on another cruise. I know. I know. I know. Oh, Christina. You're amazing, people, Christina. You're we amazing, love you. And we love you so much. And yeah. I love that you took a picture of them playing on the Today Show. That will forever be one of my favorite memories. Yeah. Yeah. My mom calling and saying... Instant got back together. (laughs) (laughs) Oh crap. Uh, I know. So that's it. I miss that. Yeah, that's it. And uh Joe's wearing a nice scarf too. Ooh la la. Ooh la la is right. (laughs) Look at that. Look at that scarf. Yeah. So that's it. That's all. We, we got we got the two stories out. We yeah. don't have very many left. So like we said. Right. My so called whatever at gmail.com. Right. And for those of you who have sent stories, thank you. Thank um, you so much for contributing to what we do. Yeah. And remember, send us ideas, send us whatever you want. We'll topics. Yeah. I mean, we'll come up with some of our own. Right, right, right. But if you have anything that you want us to talk about, then let us know. Right. And also, we are doing a special, I know we mentioned it last time, we're doing a special thing. Brooke, I, we have to talk about this afterwards, but yeah. um, we've, we got some more donations. Um, we're doing, we got some things for a special giveaway that we're going to do. Ah, giveaway. giveaway. Yes. So um, keep your ears open and your eyes peeled. What does that mean anyway? Eyes peeled. Keep your eyes peeled. I don't know. It kind of grosses me out when I yeah, think about too. it. Me too. Me too. Don't so, peel your yeah. eyes, folks. Be 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 on the lookout and we will be posting very shortly. Very shortly. So totes my goats. Yeah. So thank you guys. Thanks, guys. We love you so much. And uh loving you forever. I can't wait until next time for my so called whatever, whatever. You guys, I can't wait. I'm really excited about it. And I hope you guys are too. I hope you really like it. I, I have a feeling you're gonna really like it. I have a feeling I'm gonna cry. I have a feeling that I won't cry, but maybe I will. I don't know. We'll see. 
I have a feeling I will. Maybe I won't. We'll see. Hard to say. Hard telling, not Hard knowing. Tell, no, I was, you got, only the ah! hairdresser. I remember Rodney, this guy that I worked with, he would always say, only the hairdresser knows for sure. It's true. <laughs> I don't know what that means. My hairdresser yes. knows everything. Because your hairdresser knows everything. So we'd yep. go, we'd, we'd be talking, he'd say, you know, only the hairdresser knows for sure. <laughs> That's so, cute. Anyway. Oh, he passed away, but he's a nice Aww. guy. He made me, real quick, he made me a, like a hope chest. And oh, he had made nice. like 10 for Elvis Presley. Yeah, the same what? hope chest. So he, he remade it for me. You have like a famous hope chest. I have like a famous hope chest. So Elvis Presley had these hope chests that he gave to, he kept one for himself and he gave it to his like TCB crew, taking care of business crew. And, um, Rodney, I don't know. I guess like he was up here and like Rodney, some Rodney knew everybody. He freaking knew everybody. Um, and so he made them for him. And Rodney, awesome. was, and Rodney was not full of shit either. Like Rodney, no. everything he said, it happened. So, and then he made me one for our wedding. So what a guy. Like, yeah, it's hand carved. Like, That's nice. <laughs> like he hand carved it. It's crazy. Rodney. So. May you rest in peace. I'm, yeah. Good sir. Good man. All right. Okay. So see you later, guys. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye.